we're back for another episode of New Times with Ruby. So I'm Amanda and this is Charlotte. I don't know why I introduced you, but you've got your own voice. You can introduce yourself. Well, I wouldn't want to talk over you. You go, Amanda. I don't want like a celebrity when you introduce me. Like Ellen this Ellen is, this is a celebrity Generous. Charlotte here. Um, <laughs> just to say that I'm going to sit back a bit this week. So I was going to check what you've done this week, but I'm really excited to hear about what you're saying. I'm looking because we're talking about wedding stuff today. I mean, I just love dressing up for weddings and we didn't think we'd have a wedding this year mm. but um, we had the proposal at Ruby Lala yes. and we've just found out the wedding date is the tw and, and it was a friend of somebody I knew and the wedding date is on the 22nd of August <gasps> so I am going to a wedding so I am really head. keen to hear what you say um, today but yeah how's your week been? Yeah not too bad actually your husband asked me this earlier no idea what I've done what I could remember actually is I've had a really bad back, so I've, oh. I, I've yeah I've kind of hit that point. I had my thirty sixth birthday, thirty sixth, and that's it. Thirty sixth, it's all downhill. Yeah, <laughs> woke up the next day, went and cleaned the kitchen, did my back in. So that's great. Well, you wait till you get to fifty five. <laughs> yeah. I know. I don't think it's going to get worse, is it? Yeah, that's I'm starting to roll out of bed in the mornings now, rather than just jump out of bed that I used to do. It's I can't sort of put socks on. Rolling off the floor. They're like, oh, yeah. too far. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. But I feel very fortunate to be able to get to bed. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So good to say to get to your feet. Uh, it's very fortunate. <laughs> I used to laugh at my dad because he'd sit on the bed and roll backwards to put his socks on. Now I'm like, oh, I see. You know why? Yes. Yeah. 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 I get it. <laughs> And I suppose the other reason you don't want to talk too much this week is you did all the talking last week. I did, and interview. I coughed my way through that. And that is really funny because I coughed my way through that interview and I haven't coughed once since. <laughs> I mean, what was that about? I think because possibly I was doing a lot yeah. of the, the talking. Um, but I was hoping, obviously the weather's going to change this week. Yes. And um, things have really picked up in the shop. But interestingly, I was actually... I've been in boots, haven't I, for the whole you time. You have, actually. I think you boots. had one week off, didn't you? And you were in your little navy sneakers, the lacy ones. Yeah, and but then back had in. socks on. Wasn't uh, quite ready to get rid of the socks. White trousers have come out now. Yes. And shoes. I haven't quite got to flip-flops. I'm hoping by the end of the week it'll be flip-flops yes. and summer dresses and little jackets. I think we're ready for it now, really, aren't we? I yeah, think we're, and we've got we're lots, of, lots of them into Ruby Lala. So uh, lots of floral print, yeah. um, different styles. Shapes and sizes. Oh, I love all your. You've got real bright colours. That's what's really fabulous. I mean, you look around. It's you know, it's not just like kind of one. Oh, this shade is trending. You've got the sort of neon green and the bright orange and the kind of hot reds and the. It's just so lovely. So I think nice people are being colours. a bit braver with their colouring yeah. actually. And, and yeah. Well, I think we're enjoying freedom, aren't we? We're like freedom. Yeah. I'm gonna put on all the colours. Yeah. And 21st of June. I mean, I'm just so excited. Can't wait. Party day. Yeah. Party day definitely. <laughs> So I'm going to hand over to you, Charlotte, and I'm just okay. going to really sit back and just listen at this one, I think. Yeah, I'm of course. Well, you said that. Feel free to jump in. Talking. Yeah, I will well, do. You're quite like a wedding queen. <laughs> you know about your weddings, don't you? I love so, weddings. So, you know, please I've had a do couple of my own. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always better second time round. I shouldn't say that. You're not the guest, though, at those weddings. We're not talking about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but some people do, don't they? They have a second wedding dress for the evening. Yeah, do you know, that was very... You say some people do. When I married first time, that was the tradition. You yeah, didn't stay in your wedding dress. And I remember having a black and red dress, which actually really wasn't me. So I don't know what that says. But um, And I kept the dress for years and years and years, probably as long as I kept my wedding dress. And you could wear it with yeah, other... Yeah. yeah. But it's interesting because my friend that is getting married on the 22nd of August, you, you know, automatically it's, mm. she's staying in her yeah. wedding dress all day and all evening. And why would you not? They cost a fortune. Yes, exactly. Um, I know. Why would you not want... And you only get to wear it once mm. you? well yeah and with my dress luckily it had a really long train and but they had this thing where you could kind of hook it up inside so then it created this lovely like sort of layers like a cake oh, <laughs> like oh a, you have to bring it a photo like an actual <laughs> cake <laughs> I look like a Disney princess <laughs> and then a cake uh, well in the 80s <laughs> everybody looked like a meringue yes so yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> anyway, we don't have any meringues today, right, okay. so don't worry. Um, really, I just wanted to sort of break down a few ideas, different styles, different kind of patterns, different things you could wear that you might not think necessarily are wedding-y. Okay. So, um, yeah, really, the first one is, as you said, really obvious, the floral. Everyone loves to go for something mm. a bit floral, even if it's kind of a plain dress and then sort of flowery bag. You know, that is real, like, really the go-to, isn't it? I mean, I've, I've got some of the little flowery accessories there but I mean the reason I chose this dress 
because it's a little bit unusual for a wedding, but it's got your flowers. And I think normally you wouldn't necessarily think grey for a wedding, but it's such a chic colour. And it's also one of the Pantone colours of the year. So, okay. you know, this with something yellow, which obviously I didn't bring, I didn't bring anything oh, okay. yellow. But this with something yeah. yellow. That's a lovely idea. Really la la nine, yeah. yellow and grey. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so something like that would be absolutely lovely for a wedding. It's got the lovely floaty sleeve, so um, ladies of a certain age, maybe, my mother, for example, likes a sleeve yes, for the tops of the arms. Yeah. Um, obviously, you don't have to do that. But. It's really interesting you holding it up because we had a lady come in that's going to a wedding in October, well, 1st of October, actually, um, and grey, she has never worn a grey dress, no. Um, and she put it on, and it looked. And as soon as she put it on, I said, "Wow, it was very stylish." Mm. And my point is that you just cannot tell on the hanger no. how something is. It looked very what I said to her, very Jackie Onassis. Ah, uh, yes. Exactly. And then she, we, we had a just a plain grey fascinator. Well, I say plain grey. It was quite a wide brimmed fascinator, mm. almost like a hat, mm. in exactly the same grey. But the angle of the fascinator went. The, the cut of the fascinator went across like this. And it just it's so strange. symmetrical. Yeah. It was amazing. And it just looked so chic and Jackie and Essie. I think that straight away she said. So she loved yeah. the dress, and then when she put the fascinator on. So my point is, I suppose. Like the cherry on the cake. Yes, literally. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's what you put with things, isn't it? You know, I think that's the thing when you start to actually create the whole look. It's she that. She actually had the disbar. Oh, yeah. So she had the grey, and she said she was just going to have grey oh. shoes, grey fascinator, sorry, regular display there, Charlotte, yeah. and just the pearl bag. I think it's just, it's, yeah, it's such a chic, classic colour, but you just wouldn't think for and a And then wedding. next year you can wear it to Ascot. Absolutely. But this is the other thing, with, with florals, you can re-wear the dress. Mm -hmm. you know, obviously just as day and time But yes, exactly. And you do ideally want to bring down your cost per wear. So if you've got a dress that you can wear, you know, ten times over the summer, I mean that's yeah. great, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because I had someone else come in and say that she was looking for something to go with a wedding outfit, and she had worn the wedding outfit to her son's wedding, I don't know, ten years ago mm. or something. Um, and that was quite sad that she's never been asked to wear it again. Yes, exactly. And then it, it brings back those lovely memories. Every time you put it on, you know, it's mm. kind of building up these wonderful memories in it. So, yeah, I think, I thought... Did your boobs just fall off? My boobs just fell off, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you grab to the side. Pops, okay. pops we'll talk about that. those in a moment. <laughs> just a moment. <laughs> okay, your next slide. <laughs> I can't turn my back for a second with this one. <laughs> The next slightly unusual but fabulous idea for a wedding would be the mini dress. But not your basic mini dress, something a bit floaty. Again, it's got the florals, but it doesn't have to have. But just something that's kind of got that floatiness, that sort of beautiful, elegant feel. I thought this was perfect for it because it had this lovely sort of hem with the pleating. And again, you could wear it. And I'm just thinking about the cardigan again. And again. Top of yeah. The but I just thought, you know, if you put this with a little pearl bag or a little fascinator, maybe a shrug or something, yeah. you know, for the evening or, um, I can't remember what the word is, the scarves, the big scarves, pashmina. Pashmina, there you go. Um, and something like that. Jewelry. Yeah, exactly. You could really make this something special, but then equally the next day, put it with pair of flip flops. Yeah, oh. pair of flip flops for me. Flip flops, you tell pub, me. You know, <laughs> pub and your sneakers. So you're going to get a lot of wear out of something like this. And also, I know, you know, for, for weddings, quite often people say, oh, it has to be sort of longer. And I think sort of the midi dress down is usually considered appropriate. But, you know, for, for people who maybe are a bit more petite, they don't necessarily want to be in a maxi dress because it can drown mm -hmm. them. So something like this can look beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But then equally, you know, giraffe legs over here, I would wear this, but I would wear it with a pair of little ballet pants or some little kitten heels. Mm. So then I'm not making yeah. too much of yeah. a, you know, look look how short my dress is. Because it would be obviously shorter on me than someone who is, say, five foot one or five foot two. But then if I'm pairing it with something that's quite classic and elegant, like a pair of ballet pants, then that's mm. still going to look really pretty for a wedding. And the colour is just so wedding. Cool. I love that colour. Lilac is a wedding colour. Lilac is really in, isn't it? I think so. I keep seeing things in lilac, yeah, and I think it is just... Beautiful. And it suits so many different yeah, people. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. And that's 
I'm always surprised that it doesn't come around more often, mm. the lilac, because it really it's does seem more many skin rare tones. Color. Yeah, it is. It's a lot more popular this year, but it, you know, generally yeah. it's quite a rare colour. Right, your next one is the off the shoulder number. Now these are quite a lot of florals going on here, and obviously floral is the now obvious you can one. Really take that. See, I love a red fascinator. Yes. I haven't got any red fascinators actually, but a red fascinator. All that kind of pale pinky, but see, somebody may go for the navy blue. I want to shoot off and get a navy blue one, but I won't because it probably won't look that good. But, um, see, for me, rather than put a navy blue shoes and bag mm. or whatever, I would go for red, red. and wow, or a wow. red pink and yeah. like bring out something else completely different. That would be really lovely, maybe with the red for like an autumny we um, wedding, and then in the summer, bringing out the paler mm. color, mm. um, or even the green. But I mean, yeah, I this kind happen. of off the shoulder, so obviously it looks like it's strappy, but it's not. It's actually off the shoulder, mm. isn't it? So it's got that. Yeah. And it's. Well, just hang this out. Yeah, it? it's so beautiful and so elegant that, actually, you know, with the way it hangs like that. Do you know, I'm just thinking, I've just talked myself into my 20. I thought I knew what I was going to wear for the 22nd of August, but actually that was Red Fascinator. Mm. Fabulous. And then maybe navy shoes or green shoes. I, you could, know, I think you could really make it your own, that's the thing. It's like one of those dresses, lovely. you think, oh, well, that would only go with navy, mm. but no, it has so much going on with yeah, it. Yeah. You can really bring out so many different aspects. I think depending on what sort of colours you suit, what colours you like, it's mm. you want a dress that gives you multiple options, you know, not just, well, this dress is blue, so therefore mm. it has to be with blue. You, know, you, you do want a dress that's going to be a good all-rounder yeah. for the whole season but something that actually can be dressed up so beautifully for a wedding. And I just love this sort of draping on the shoulder. Mm, I think it's really, really... Um, kind it's of funny like because neutral. I stay away from navy blue at a wedding yeah. and that's because, in my view, so many people wear navy blue at a wedding. I apologise if you've got a wedding outfit that's navy blue for this year, but like I said with that, I would put, if, you, if you're not brave enough to put a red yeah. fascinator or navy blue or whatever, Picking out the subtle pink. Yeah, because navy so is a lovely. classic, isn't it, yeah. for a wedding? But actually, as you say, I don't do you, classic. No, I don't. <laughs> I, I know, and you know, not everyone does, and that's that's good. <laughs> right, your next one is this color combo: the pink and the cream. Oh, pink cream. and cream. Yeah, I thought this was. It's such a fresh, fruity, juicy kind of coloring, and. Interesting word, yeah. Juicy. <laughs> you know, it's fresh, isn't it? You, you feel like you could kind of drink it up. There's just something really lovely about it. And again, it's a, that I've wasn't me again. that time. I said, how long will it take you to knock the side off, Charlotte? I know it's there. I won't <laughs> knock it off. I definitely won't knock it off, she said. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't clamber over the back of the sofa to pick it up. It's gone. You're going it's to. gone. <laughs> it's gone. I won't expose myself. Uh, <laughs> trying to get down there. Um, but yeah, something like this. Uh, there's another one that I think you wore to a wedding that you put a picture of, possibly, I found it on Instagram, I think, and you wore the one with like, the little frills and the halter neck and the kind of drop waist and sort of mermaid fishtail. Yeah. <laughs> you know that one. Um, <laughs> that was the other one. I think it's with this one, actually, on the rail. Right, um, okay. So these two colours together are going to be really beautiful for weddings this season, mm -hmm. basically. I the pink that. and the cream because there's so just something very really traditional about it it's like ice cream isn't it almost yeah it's actually i was just thinking about yeah. strawberry milkshake mm. comes to mind actually. it's so girly not that you want to be pretty. reminded of strawberry milkshake at every wedding but there you go so what, what see it's interesting i'm curious as to what color see i'm instantly i'm thinking what color i would put with that mm. what color fascinator would you put with that see i would actually go quite pale with that and i would go to match the cream that's really interesting. Yeah. So what do you think I would say? I think you'd say pink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? I think, for me, this one has got so much going on. You don't want I to don't, overdo it. No, I do like to overdo it. Not that. I don't want to detract from what's Now this there. is really interesting, because you're the lady that wears six it. or half a dozen colours. Yeah. Um, which mortifies me. I'm now feeling that for a wedding I'm bolder than you. Maybe, And yeah. that you're actually going subtle. Maybe that's like the one place where we can kind of switch sure. our superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did not work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, maybe. I, do you know what? I just love to let the dress speak 
And so for me personally, this dress is screaming pink flowers. And so I don't want to take away from this beauty. Mm. But then equally, would that be the dress wearing me then? I don't know. Mm. But I personally would go cream. But then equally, well, you could go pink. I'm thinking about your, you know, if someone doesn't want to wear a satin, yeah. you put your headband. Put your headband. Yeah. yeah. How beautiful is that? There we go. My little cream handbag. Yes, you see, look at that. Very subtle. I'm off to a wedding. Just an invite. No, I haven't. <laughs> Just someone's oh, wedding. That bag's a bit too perky, I think. Yeah, it is. Although, it does. And the necklace is a bit over. It does have that real I do like the necklace. dark. That has that really beautiful dark. Yeah. I might go for that. I might try that's and match that piece. very dark. Yeah, that is a dark purple. Cream so maybe and that purple. bag would pick that out, do you think? Yeah, I think that's what I would do. But oh look, there you go. I knew I brought this over for some reason. Oh, I think okay. that would be quite pretty. And then yeah. also races. You know, yes, for races. Yes. I love this with the little buttons and, the, and it pulls in at the waist. So you can get a little bit of shape there. Perfect. I've sold myself this dress now. <laughs> This is going well. She just needs someone to invite her to a wedding. Yeah, please, please someone invite races. me. <laughs> there are only rich people having weddings, rich, famous people. Celebrities? Are they getting married then? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. need to invite them onto the show. I don't talk about that. Whoever they are. <laughs> if you're rich and a celebrity, come on. <laughs> we promise we won't date crash. <laughs> right, the next one. Oh, and can I just say about the bra so I can put it away? I was thinking this for the strapless. Because obviously a lot of people feel maybe a little bit exposed mm. if they don't wear a bra or if they feel like they have to wear a bra but they can't put straps on. Never show a bra strap, I can't say that enough. Don't have your sort of old white bra strap <laughs> showing. <laughs> or, well, or even- Well, look at me when you say that, Charlotte. Well, I, I just like sitting here looking, can't really, look at Dave. looking really quiet <laughs> and sheepish because I'm thinking, I'm suddenly thinking I don't care about my bra strap. <laughs> I used to be well, no, mortified well, no by no bra strap because I just thought it didn't look right, but actually yeah. now maybe it's yeah, But if you had an off the shoulder dress, really beautiful off the shoulder dress, would you have your sort of thick no, white, no, slightly greying? <laughs> because she knows thing, well. <laughs> what, not that I've seen your bra, I'm just thinking about my own bras. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, when I was younger, it always used to be about making the bra something that's part like part of so you you'd either have like a halter neck or like the diamante straps that yes, you get that were separate yes. um, or having it matching the top just don't do any of those things and if you have to wear a bra I would say maybe go strapless if you want absolutely but I would say just maybe get a shrug or something so that you can still wear the bra without showing it because it's that's not what the dress is made for <laughs> That's what these are made for. So, in case people don't know, this is a bra. It sticks on, so you can take this off. It sticks onto your skin. It has a little gap there for your nipples, so when you're pulling it off, you don't rip everything off. Oh, what happens if your nipples aren't in that place? Uh, it's painful. painful. <laughs> <laughs> Very painful, especially after a couple of kids breastfeeding. Right. <laughs> Just keep pulling. <laughs> But yeah, it's brilliant because you can actually completely undo it and then Expand. bit the nipples and then, <laughs> and then okay. pull in where you need. So you know, yeah. I never knew that. We sold those and I never knew there was little nipple holes. Yeah, it's little nipple that's holes there. Every day. <laughs> so yeah, strapless or you know, off the shoulder, get yourself a pair of them. A pair? One of them? <laughs> a pair of them. <laughs> a? A oh. one of them. <laughs> Amazing. I'm a writer for a living. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is also looking at the dreaded black. Because obviously I like I, see, I like black at the wedding black and, and, lovely. and that's very like, tasteful. I do like a pale kind of cream as well. Mm. And I know it's a bit, a bit naughty maybe. Yeah, I remember I went to a wedding not long ago and, and asked the bride if I could wear well, it wasn't all white, mm. but some white, but they, they weren't keen on me in the slightest. Well, I wouldn't want to be upstaged if I were wedding. You're not going to be upstaged no. by someone else in a white dress, no. are you? But I mean, at, at, my, uh, at my wedding, all the bridesmaids were in the same colour dress as me, so we all had slightly sort of um, ivory coloured white, and it looked really nice. Mm. So I don't, I don't care. Get, get in the bridal party, I say. Um, but yeah, so I thought we'd go with some black, just as we're talking about slightly sort of different, quite quirky ideas for weddings. This is, I love this dress. So 
so much. And we do that in the cream. And you do it in the cream. So actually, for like a bridesmaid even. So my bridesmaid yeah. dresses were just from a little boutique in Brighton. I just mm. saw them and they were kind of retro vibed and they slightly looked like my dress in that they had a kind of wide waist and then poofy skirt. And I just thought, you know what, that's perfect. That's what I want. So if people are looking for just a sort of mm. quick, easy win on the bridesmaids, this in cream, perfect. Yeah. Um, but I really like this in the black because I thought that's so it's just really unusual. And it has those lovely details, which I think are just really make it for a wedding. You know, mm. like you, you mm. can just imagine dancing the night away in this, can't you? Yeah. And just sort of flicking your skirts all over the place and flouncing about. And I love, you know, all the details to it. For me, this was just a real sort of wedding winner because although it's black, it's got that lovely white that really lifts it. Mm. If it was all black and pearls, like the cream one's all cream with cream pearls, isn't mm. it? I think if it was all black, it, it, it wouldn't be right. But with those white yeah. pearls, it's just stunning. And then, well, you thought oh, this, yeah. didn't you? Well, yeah. I, think I love this pattern. So, okay. And then thinking, yeah, sort of accessories wise, I suppose you could go mad and go all pearl. Where should but I wear this, do you think? Yes, lovely. Okay, I'll pop that against yourself. I'm off. Yeah, she's oh, the 22nd day of the show. Actually, I probably wouldn't wear this because it's long sleeve, so I probably wouldn't want to wear it to an August or something. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Fabulous. Where are my carriage away? <laughs> Cinderella. <laughs> you shall go to the And ball. a lot of people say to me, actually, when they come in, what's, what, what way does this pattern together? I say, whichever way you want to do it. You want, yeah, exactly. So exactly. it's just as amazing. That way there. Oh yeah, I think either way, it just depends what you like. Mm. You're sort of a bit of a fascinated queen though, aren't you? I love Yeah. And we've got so many. I just Looking love. at your wall over there. Yeah, <laughs> we're looking that way because they're all over there. And sort of Not because it's yeah. just a more interesting thing going on I wish there. I brought some more over to show you actually because I'm just thinking of that pink one, that's the very pale pink that's got these so creamy... Go get them? Well, I'm just wondering, but then it's too much. Again, I think if you've got a really elaborate... Mm then you probably need to go plainer. So if you were going to go with this dress, then yeah, you'd want something that's just a bit, like this, that solid colour, mm -hmm. with maybe a little yeah. bit of a highlight. Yeah. You wouldn't want something that was just all single And, this, and it's also yeah. about the cut. I think the yeah. cut, the style is great. Yeah. It probably goes the other way around, actually. Whereas some of the ones we've got sort of goes up, yeah. goes upwards, go upwards, and it wouldn't necessarily be maybe what I No. So no. I think it's also the style as well as the colour. And I think you even need to show be showing off the hat or the dress. Mm. I don't think, if you go all hat and all dress, mm. then it's just too much, too much and you're sort of losing the point of your look. Mm. Um, you know, whereas that's quite, I don't want to say subtle, because it's not subtle, is it? It's big, but, but the it's way, the cut of it exactly, well. it's it is really cut of it. elegant. Yeah. And yeah. so you can wear it with something that's just a bit more flamboyant mm. and a bit more, you know, yeah. frills and whistles. Okay. <laughs> Rather than bells and whistles, frills and whistles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the last one that I went for was Pop of Colour. See, that took an ace on you, that colour. Oh, I love this. Oh, this dress. Are you going to the wedding? No, you're not, unless you get to the invite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. Is, have we had a call yet from any of the celebrities? <laughs> um, I'll be here all night just waiting, so feel free. <laughs> um, yeah, so this pop of colour, you know, and, and the other thing is sometimes, you know, you're invited to the whole day, sometimes you're just invited to the evening. Um, and if you're just coming to the evening, something like this is perfect because you know, we want to get out, we want to go and party and have fun, and so we want to make the most of that time, you know. And even if it's just a few hours, sort of, I don't know, our wedding's kind of slightly restricted still at the moment. I, in think, terms I think so, but I think from June, then. We not, just want to get out and just have fun, don't you? And I thought something like this, that is just going to be so special, isn't it? You're going to put that on and just feel like a million dollars, and you're going to just want well, to dance. Again, it's and very have fun. chic, very. I love this. Yeah, it's got this that goes around the waist, and it's got all the layers, and you could just shimmy the night away in yeah. that, couldn't you? But then equally, it's because it's sort of got the long sleeves uh, and sort of the higher neck. You could just as easily wear that in the day as well into the evening because it, it's still quite um, I want to say reserved, which may or may not be the right sort of word, but it's not you know like everything out, mm. everything over the top. Mm. It's quite um, understated. But then, you know, with the frills, come the evening, yeah. dance floor, yeah. you know, you're yeah. going to be kicking up your heels that little number, really aren't you? Good. So again, <laughs> I want to ask what colour would you put with that? Because that's a hard one to match up. I would put possibly black or a kind of creamy colour. 
Oh, or no. something Can't bright, remember. like a deep blue or a deep purple. Yeah, interestingly, I mm. think when I put it on a mannequin, I think I put it with sort of a royal blue. Yeah, I think that would be really lovely. Yeah, but you I, could go something that's shoes. going to. Um, you could go just straw. Even it's yeah. about the texture as well. Maybe something, maybe straw, huge shoes. I mean, you could straw. just yeah, you could just put something like that with it and yeah. just make it quite sort of simple and sweet. Mm. That's very sweet, isn't it? Like that. But then equally, yeah, put it with something that's just. Oh come on, dog! Put your hat on. <laughs> um, put it with something like that, and suddenly you've got a whole other look. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's such a rich, vibrant colour, you need, if you're going to do that, you need rich and vibrant. You yeah. don't want to go kind of a bit Machine. tame, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, I brought, brought this over, so yeah, yeah. Have to go like that. Yeah. Stunning. Those two colours mm -hmm. together, sort of the blues. Yeah. Beautiful. So yeah, with that kind of colour, you, you, you've you okay, got to go so all in. the same wavelength with that one, really. But. Yes. Whereas this one, this one is a slightly sort of more tame colour. It's not that real solid hit of colour, so you could go with something, you you wouldn't go for something that rich mm -hmm. with this, you would go for something a little bit more delicate, um, but again, you pop of colour, but a sort of sweeter, maybe in a field sort of wedding, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> something a little bit more yeah. rustic perhaps, yeah. or beachy, um, beachy, yeah, or you know, just kind of a nice little daytime at the pub, mm -hmm. that kind of wedding. But just something that's just a, maybe a little bit less. Um, and that you can definitely wear just to oh, flip flops the next day. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Wear it the next day. You could do the crochet, crochet but people exactly. wouldn't know you were doing the whole crochet. They'd think it's just what you put on on a Sunday morning. Stayed yeah. up all night partying. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I love this, these little dresses. And also, again, with the, it's got the halter neck. So that is just, yeah. that's a very classic look, isn't it, for a wedding? Lovely. But then it's got a, quite an unusual colour. I love this colour. Um, and with the polka dots, again, you might want to put your bra on with these. Pop a bra on. Because, <laughs> you know, you can't really have the strap showing again, can you? But anyway, yeah, pop of colour. That was my other mm. idea for a wedding. Because, you know, you want to get out there and have a yeah. giggle. You want to be having some fun after all our lockdowns. So why not do that through colour and have fun? I love, I love the rusty one. I'm just going to pop that down there. <laughs> Pick it up and make it look like we just dropped it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Well, thank you very much for covering all of that. My okay. pleasure. It's What's been the brolly there? Well, well I just thought the brolly was a bit of a couple minutes left. But... Oh. <laughs> Parasol. Parasol, you know, for Stroke a ride. Brolly, if it rains. I thought it's We've got some lovely lace ones in, actually, which are lovely. It's all behind you. Oh, yes. We might have shown this one before, but look at this. Ready for our wedding? Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> we'll see you at the wedding. Take care and have a lovely week, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>